Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this integration effect using Filmora 10. So, why? Why I'm doing this? Because you know that Hanoi is very cold now. It's only under 10 degrees Celsius. So, it's so cold. <laughs> Okay, so that is about filming. So it is very easy to uh, create this trick. Firstly, you need your character in, in the frame, like me talking in front of the camera, and then act uh, like this. And then I just move out of the frame and scrolling my chair. And the most uh, difficult part is the editing. Okay, go to Filmora 10. I will show you how. Go. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 10. So this is my example timeline. It looks a little bit messy. By the way, I, I want to explain a little bit about this timeline, if you don't mind. Okay, also on the top track, the track number three, I have an overlay. So it is a green screen video. Uh, we are just downloaded from uh, the internet so on YouTube. You can go there and download it. But uh, by the way, I will put the link to download all the material for this project in the description on my Google Drive. So you can download it and try it yourself. And also I will include some overlay, some smoke overlay that you want to, to use for your project. Uh, and on uh, on the video track number two, uh, I have a yeah a transition effect uh, between two clip uh, two short clip. But this uh, this short clip I just uh, cut it from the main clip. Uh, I will explain uh, why I do this uh, later in the tutorial. Okay, and it is a glitch uh, effect. And down here we have the main video track. So me uh, talking in front of the in front of the camera. And I split the clip at this position when when I act like this, disappear, right? So I'm sorry about my reaction because I didn't I didn't uh, react well when I disappear from the video. Okay, so down here we have uh, two moon, uh, moons uh, background music. So also from uh, YouTube Studio, I will also put in the folder so you can download it. Uh, okay, and uh, this is a sound effect. Uh, actually, this sound effect because I, it is difficult for me to find the uh, wind wind sound effect. So I created myself. Uh, so I use my phone and I uh, like this to create this uh, sound effect. And down here we have a glitch effect. Uh, if you want, I can also put all of them in the folder. Okay, that is about the uh, the timeline. So I, I'm going to delete the timelines and. Uh, do the tutorial step by step so you can uh, follow me uh, to create this effect. So first thing, we need to drag and drop our main footage onto the timeline, uh, this one, to the track number one. Okay, uh, and let's play it. Uh, actually, we just uh, we just need to find the position where we act like this, where I act like this. Okay, so let's review everything, starting from here at this position. I will disappear from the video. So I'm going to split that. Uh, the first action, split it. Let's click on this to split. And also I, I will split the beginning so that uh, you don't see it. I, I will delete it and move everything to the right, uh, to the left. Okay, so, and now I'm going to play the video uh, until I see the empty shot. Okay, and play it. Okay, so at this position, I move out the frame. So let's split the clip again. Uh, right here and delete the, the parts that we don't want to use and also I will close the gap by rip or delete uh, okay so now it's fine right uh, we have here it's so cold Ooh. so it's just a jump cut so it, it disappeared from the screen right and now I want to uh, firstly, I want to add a transition between uh, this clip, but well, one thing I noticed uh, when creating this effect is that uh, when I add the transition, the evaporate uh, transition effect here, uh, let me show you. Ever, uh, this one, 
so I'm uh, I'm using this one uh, evaporate one. So when I drag and drop it between uh, this clip, uh, it just uh, disappear the whole screen. Not only me. Okay, like this. Let's preview. So it's so cool. I think it's okay to have a transition effect like this. By the way, I want to uh, make it a little bit better. That's why I straight out the timeline and also I split the clip at this position. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate uh, my main uh, video track at this part. So I'm split here. And also I do the same to uh, split the clip at this position. Now I have two parts, right? I, I will select all of them. Uh, let's delete this transition first. Let's delete, uh, delete the transition and uh, let's copy this. Okay, uh, I'm going to paste it on this track, uh, the track number two at this position. Okay, but before doing that, I want to lock the main video track uh, with this icon. Okay, lock it and then I press Ctrl V to paste it, right? Now we have to uh, to uh, part of the main video track uh, on track number two, and now I'm going to apply a mask uh, to this uh, position only uh, to mask the body, mask my body, okay? And uh, we're going to select this one and then go to effect and go to utilities, and we have an image mask here, and uh, let's just drag and drop it uh, directly to the part uh, to this part. And then I want to hide the, uh, the main video track so that I can see the mask better. Okay, just hide it. Okay, so now I have a circle mask around me. So I think it's good enough. By the way, if you want, you can also change the shape of the mask. And also I, I will do the same at this, this position to cover only the chair. Okay, so uh, drag and drop the image mask to, the, uh, to this clip. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to adjust the mask a little bit so it covers only the chair, not uh, the whole screen. Okay, uh, let's double click on this clip and go to video and then video effect and find the mask here. You see here we have a mask where we can change it to this side. Okay, and also reduce the Y at the width. Okay, that, this is okay. And the high also. And move move it down a little bit to this position. Okay, so we have two masks now. Now we can apply the transition to this clip uh, on the timeline. So we go into uh, transition and let's drag and drop evaporate number one uh, down the timeline. Uh, okay, and let's preview the effect. Before doing that, we uh, we can unlock the main video track and also unhide it. Yeah. Okay. So. Here's the effect, the first uh, the first step of the effect. Degree Celsius, so. It's so cool. <laughs> it's nice, right? Uh, but there are two audio here, so we are going to mute the audio of the bottom track. Mute, okay. So the second thing, we need to overlay something, overlay the dust uh, green screen video. Okay, so we go to media again, and then this is um, uh, the dust. Uh, let's play it. Nice, right? So here I set the in point and out point uh, for my uh, my clips because I just want to use the this uh, part and this part at the beginning. At the beginning when the dust uh, comes out and also the here uh, when it disappears. Okay, so uh, this should be fine. Then I just drag and drop it, uh, put it on top uh, at this position. And also I, I will use a, a green screen effect in Filmora 10 to key out the green. Okay, so select it and then uh, press this button to uh, key out the green. Uh, okay, and that should be fine here. By the way, I want to adjust the tolerance a little bit. So it completely key out the green and that's it. Okay, so we almost finished the, the effect except the sound, uh, sound design and also the background music. Uh, but I, I already rendered the timeline and here's, uh, here's a, the first look at the, our effect. Yes, yes, yes. So, it's so cool. 
it looks nice, right? But um, for the green screen, I want to add a keyframe for it to, so, uh, to make it a little bit uh, better, okay? So I'm going to press um, Shift Home to go, go to the beginning of the, uh, the green screen clip. Uh, okay, so at this position, I want to add a keyframe to scale it down and also to reduce the opacity. So uh, we are going to uh, select it and then uh, we click on this button to add a keyframe for it. So at this uh, position, I want to scale it down to 30%. Uh, 30% and also reduce the opacity to 30% also. Uh, and I press enter. Okay, so and I also move the, the anchor point or something, the center of the video to this position. Uh, so that is, uh, it looks like th that the dust come from my stomach and uh, it's spread out. Okay, and we move to the next keyframe. Uh, this position, okay. At this position, I will uh, reset the scale here and also the opacity, and then click OK. And finally, when we add a sound effect and also uh, the background music, the effect will look like this. So why? Why I'm doing this? Because you know that Hanoi is very cold now. It's only under 10 degrees Celsius. So it's so cold. <laughs> It's nice, right? I think it's a very easy trick to uh, create this uh, effect in Filmora 10. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.